Roswell Flight Test Crew here today at the Commercial UAV Expo in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada. And I'm here today with Kyle Bishop at the Zephyr Drone Simulator booth. How are you doing, Kyle? Doing pretty well, thank you. Outstanding. So I'm guessing you make drone simulators. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? We do, yeah. Uh, so we have a drone training simulation that is built from the ground up for large scale and enterprise training. Um, so we have a learning management system that tracks all of your flight logs, um, including flight time, crashes, violations, anything like that. Um, so we get to see all the good stuff in a really objective way. Um, but I have to ask you, isn't, isn't sort of crashing one of the points of having a simulator? Yeah, so uh, we do have a free flight mode, so if you're if you crash into anything in that mode, it doesn't really you know, count against you. Um, and uh, it's not scored the same way that everything else is. Um, and then if you do crash in the other uh, modules or anything like that, you're able to you know, repeat them and retry and make sure that you're really growing those skills to not crash in the field. So, yeah. That, that is really the point of the simulator, is to make sure when you've got actual hardware up there that you're not going to wreck it. So what sort of, of scenarios or training events do you have built into the software? Yeah, so we've got a pretty good variety. Uh, there's a bunch of scenarios that are all about the basics, so teaching you, you know, how to fly in the first place, um, some of the term terminology of um, aviation. Um, it'll take you through takeoff and landing, throttle control, flying with different orientations. Um, and then from there, you kind of graduate into more real-world applications, like flying around a community park or like a house um, or different structures like that out in a big open field. Um, and then like using the camera to to accomplish objectives and things that you might need to do in the field. Um, and then one step further, we also work a lot with um, universities, public safety, uh, uh, Department of Transportation and groups like that uh, to recreate the environments that they need to train on. Um, so things like tower inspection, uh, bridge inspection, uh, the NIST open lane test, and a lot of uh, really good content like that will be coming in the future too. Got it. Now I notice on your board here behind us, you've got images of aircraft from all sorts of different manufacturers. You've got DJI, Autel, Skydio, you know, even even Unique. I'm not sure there are that many of those left anymore. But so so do you have all those aircraft in the simulator? Yep. Um, we have some that even date a little bit further back, like the 3DR Solo, if you really want to uh, jump, take a, a dive back. But um, yeah, we try to you know, continually add new models that come out, um, especially ones that people are actively using very frequently in the commercial space. Um, we'll be working on, we have a few more coming too, like the uh, Loki, and we've been working with some others in the public safety uh, sector. So um, each of those models flies very close to how they fly in the real world. We get a lot of great praise for the physics models. Um, and we really put a lot of time into making sure that those skills are growing on the controller with that drone will feel just like the real thing out in the field. Um, I don't really think anybody else is doing that. So, see, I am a university or a, you know public safety agency, and I want to make use of this. How do what, what's the plan? How do I get in touch with you? How do I make that happen? Yeah, so um, you can contact me directly, or you can go on our website. Um, it's zephyr-sim.com. Um, Zephyr spelled Z-E-P-H-Y-R, um, and you can reach out to us there. There's a uh, contact information there. Um, my email is kbishop at littlearms.com. Um, L i t t l e a r m s dot com, um, and happy to you know set up calls. We can set up demos. We can run through everything. Make sure you're comfortable. Make sure everything is working well, and then um, get you all set up. So yeah. Yes, Zephyr, common spelling. Um, and then let me just ask you this: Is there in any way if there's a one-off of an individual wants to use your simulator? Yeah. So on the website, um, there's versions that you can. There's a free version, so you can try it out. Um, that includes if you need to just test it out, make sure it works on school computers or anything like that. Um, and then there are different packages you can get with different levels of content for training uh, for individual use. Um, and that includes things like the NIST Open Lane Test. If you just want to train and learn how to do it, um, you're welcome to to do that as well. And those are all on the website. Well, Kyle, thanks so much for telling us about it. it looks pretty cool. I can't wait to give it a try. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for your time. Thank you, Patrick. All right. And from Commercial UAV Expo 2022 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Desk Crew signing off.